without using mathematical tables or calculators, evaluate 0 0.0015 times 0 0.567 all or 0 0.05 times 0 0.189, leaving your answer in standard form. So we are going to start. The question says we should evaluate this without using calculators. So don't use calculators. What it means is that don't use the calculator to find something times something divided by something and write a final answer there. But you're supposed to go through some process. So what you're going to do is that change this one that's more to whole numbers times 10 exponent setting integer. So when you move this one forward, one, two, three, four, you get a whole number which is 15. So because we move forward four times, it's going to negative four times, then this one, one, two, three. So we move forward three times. So five, six, seven, that's a whole number. That's going to negative three. Because we move forward three times. And this becomes one, two. So five times 10 exponent negative two because we move forward twice and this one one two three so we have 189 times times 189 times 10 exponent negative 3 so what do we do next now uh, straight forward you can see that certain values will cancel certain values the 10 exponent negative 3 will cancel 10 exponent negative 3 so what do we have next we have We have five that can go into 15 three times. Then we have 189, which can also go into five, six, seven, three times. So when you get that, we are left with three times three um, times 10 exponent negative all over one times 10 exponent negative two now when this happens what we do is that this times this will give us nine so we have nine times 10 exponent negative four so we have 10 exponent negative four over 10 exponent negative two so we pick one base Recall that if you have a exponent m divided by a exponent n, you get a exponent m minus n. So we are going to get a exponent. The a is this one, which is the 10 exponent negative 4 minus into bracket negative 2. So this will give you 9 times 10 exponent negative 4 minus negative 2. That will give you negative 4 plus 2, which will give you negative 2. So this answer here is in standard form. So standard form means you write the number such that we have a times 10 exponent n, where a is greater than or equal to 1 and is less than 10. And n is any integer so you can see that the a here is a 9 and the n here is a negative 2 a 10 is already there thanks for watching see you in the next video